and it is also April Fool's Day. So here's your breakfast, buddy. <laughs> and so I filled this one with chocolate, and I'm gonna eat that one. <gasps> oh my goodness. What happened? What? You take my Jordans to my ceiling? What? <laughs> I got this. Thank you. Have a good day. Bon dia, I'm Tim Fam. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog today. It's going to be a fun one because it just so happens to be April Fools. And there's one thing that I love about my kids, and that is they love to celebrate the little things. So today they're going to play a prank on their teachers. This is going to be a fun one. Good morning, MTM Fam. Welcome to the vlog today. It is morning. We're getting ready for school. And it is also April Fools' Day. So the kids have already been trying to come up with pranks. Brielle woke up for ballet this morning at 6.20 and Bodhi had colored on her face with marker. I keep telling him, okay, I don't know why he's so obsessed with April Fool's Day because we don't like do a lot of April Fool's Day stuff, but he keeps saying that he's gonna prank his teacher. He's so excited about it. Amber apparently is pranking her teacher by dressing up like a, like a basketball player. But it's like a bunny. It's like, it's like Lola Bunny, she said. So for breakfast, I'm pranking the kids. They said they wanted me to make them eggs. I'm gonna make them pizza. Here's your breakfast. I love this. <laughs> Here's your breakfast, buddy. Joke. I don't trust it. It's not a joke, it's pizza. Okay, so we just gave the kids their break their dinner for breakfast. April Fools, guys. Bodie's like, I want pizza. I want April Fools every day. Ember didn't even say anything, didn't even act like it was normal. Riel's the only one that kind of acted like it was a joke. Bodhi thought it was a prank to the point of like that I put something terrible on it and thought he should maybe throw it away. Which I would not do. It's because we don't he waste would food. Do it, I so know. He, you he would do that. Okay, so like, like I said, the kids wanted to do something for their teachers, but I told them I had to supervise their their April Fool's Day joke for their teachers because I did not want it to be disrespectful or messy or anything. So we got them crumble cookies. I don't know if you guys have had crumble before. We got, Derek went this morning and picked up a bunch of boxes and then we got some vegetables. And so they're gonna think they're getting a crumble cookie and it's actually gonna be veggies. But Bodhi said, I think maybe we should also give him a box with a cookie in it. I and Derek that was, was thinking through. it Two through. So they're gonna give him the fake cookie with the veggies. And then when they realize that it's nothing, then they're gonna give him the real cookie. So I think that will be a fun gift for their teachers. Not too mean. I want a cookie. And follow it up with something good. Who did it? Did you do it? What? Did you do it? What? Did you do that? Yeah. Who did the smiley face toothpaste? I did. Oh my gosh. I put mustaches on the girls' face. And you put mustaches? I woke up at 4 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had I some on the side of your cheek. with some right here and some eyeliner coming off my eyes. Did you have? Did and you a have, mustache. Yeah. It was a color your face. This is the most excited I've ever seen you guys with a bag of vegetables. <laughs> Don't worry, you have time. You have time. Yep, it's all good. I don't want more. Oh, so I've seen these things on YouTube, and what they do is they like fill food in these holes. And so I filled this one with chocolate, and I'm gonna eat that one. And that's the only It looks like paint. It looks I know, exactly like paint. I know. So I'm gonna eat this brown one and my friends will be like, what the heck? And I'll be like, it's just chocolate. I did it for April Fool's, do you want some? So I have mayonnaise and it looks like that one's white mayonnaise. chocolate, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna <laughs> give it to my friends, like here's some white chocolate I have. And it's mayonnaise. And it's mayonnaise. Ew, that's and so then gross. Here's um, syrup and then that's ketchup. <laughs> I think people will notice it's ketchup. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Let us know how it goes. Good luck. I love it. All right, MTM fam. The kids were at school today, and I've just been packing and 
cleaning for the trip. And the kids are about to be home and I realized I wanted to do one more prank on them. And they're about to walk in the door, so I have to do it really fast. I'm taping a couple of things that the kids see. Okay, now I have to go do something in Bodhi's room. I have to hurry, they're gonna be walking in the door like any minute. Look at what. Oh my goodness. What happened? Your sister taped it those up there. You think your sister did it? Yeah. Oh. Hey guys, how was school? Hey sister. No, I'm not with you. I want to hear how your prank went on your with your pranks went on your teachers. Oh good. My teacher knew something was coming, so she like went like this when she opened it. Oh yeah. She thought that like something would like bounce out of it. But there was just like vegetables in my class is like, uh, that's not a cookie. And she looks at it and she's like, oh, well I mean veggies are a good snack too. And I was like, <laughs> oh no, I have a real cookie for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. My cookie is start my teacher started laughing and then I'm like, oh and then I got my other my real one. And then I got it. Oh, that's and cute. And she ate it on lunch. Oh, okay. What, I, what did your teacher say? So I gave her the cookie, and she's like, oh, thank you. This is so nice of you. And then she opens it, and she shows it to the class, and she, then they start laughing. Yeah. And I'm like, wait. And I get the real cookie, and she has me. Oh, that's good. Boats, what did your teacher do? My teacher um, knew something was coming because last year I pranked my teacher like a thousand times. So my teacher just booked it. <laughs> she didn't even look at it? Mm -mm. Oh but no. But then um, I finally got her to open it. And she's oh. like, vegetables. <laughs> and then I went and grabbed the real cookie. Oh, that's funny. Did she like it? Yeah. Good. I hope all your teachers like their prank and that they only got nice pranks today. Okay, so the kids are all home from school now and they're about to get ready to get packed up to go. They need to each pack. Um, I packed the kids' stuff. What, what Bodhi? What? You take my Jordans to my ceiling? What? I have to pack those. What? How did those get up there? Wow. How did those get up there? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, it pulled the tape off the ceiling. <laughs> uh, April Fool's on me, I guess. That did not go as I, I expected. Uh-oh. What? 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 We're stuck here. Barry. I guess you can't take Barry with us on vacation. I have an idea. Okay, I definitely learned a lesson with that prank. Don't use duct tape. I just thought if I don't push it down tightly and they take it off quick, it probably will be fine. Well, it probably wasn't fine. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to laugh, and I'm like right here. Did you believe her even for a second? I hate you. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> she believed you. <laughs> I can't even laugh. I'm the best laugh. She's like, you did laugh or you didn't? I couldn't tell from back here. I was laughing. Oh my god. <laughs> Brielle's going to summer school. Brielle's going to summer school. Oh my heck. <laughs> that is so mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> April Fools. All of this for one week. A lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of a lot of stuff for a lot of kids. Are you putting all of it in this one bag? Yeah, this is all the kids stuff. You're like a pro packer. It's not my first rodeo. Will you pack my stuff too, please? No. High five. I'm already in charge of six people. You can be in charge one of more, one. One more won't hurt. No, it might. It might. It's, it's after we 11 o'clock. We are gonna have a movie marathon. We've no. got one, two, three, just kidding. These are movies for the trip. Are we taking them back, back to our day? Yeah, well, they've seen everything that's recent, so I was trying to find like some older good movies. 
that they would maybe enjoy. So, Ooh. so we've got a long ride. And the whole thing I noticed, I realized, I don't really know if we ever really shared that we were getting ready for spring break. Did we actually say that? I can't even remember because today was so, like, we woke up. I think so. Frazzled with um, April Fool's stuff because oh. Bodhi was like ready to go. <laughs> As usual. Uh -huh. So we're going to Las Vegas for spring break tomorrow. Las Vegas mm -hmm. spring break. Yeah. Which Derek for us actually... doesn't mean party, it just means it's, well, it's, it's a lot of work. It's funny because our first spring break together, Derek and I was in Las Vegas. It was a fun day. The kids, I think, had fun with all of their. Uh, April Fool's Day jokes and then I feel like I've been literally packing all day and prepping for this trip and it still looks like I did nothing so I definitely need to work on my um, efficiency skills. Thank you everybody for watching be sure to like and subscribe come back tomorrow we're gonna be down there with Mauer Moments we're gonna have some fun we're going from like 40 slash 50 degree weather to 80 90 degree weather so sunny every day uh, sunburns every day yeah but it's fun I'm excited for it. Not the sunburns, I'm just excited to have a break. It's been absolute chaos these last couple, I was going to say a couple months, these last 16 years. Life. It's just this life. Life. It's all good. Come back tomorrow for more. Thank you all. See you then. Bye. Say bye. bye. Say it like you mean it. Bye. Say, you, say I love you so much. I love you so much. You're my... Oh my God. <laughs>